Appreciate y'all for tuning in. Appreciate y'all for pulling up for another yeah. pull-up session. Y'all go ahead and have a seat. We got it from here. Man, we appreciate y'all. We appreciate y'all for supporting the channel. And uh, what we're about to be getting into today, we're about to be checking out Gary Bird and the GB Experience. Yeah. Uh, the title of this song is The Crown. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, we got to give a big shout-out to one of our day ones, Mikey G. So, shout-out to Mikey G. G for making this suggestion and this request. <laughs> Brother, we appreciate you, yeah. and uh, hey, Gary Bird and the GB Experience. All right. This, this should be interesting. Let's get into it. Oh. Kind of sound like, this, like the, the beginning of the Michael Jackson beat. Yeah, I did. Some say they're from outer space, <laughs> but they are a part of the human race. Well, who you think put the, the pyramids the together? The human race. <laughs> that's all. That's all we were to put it together. <laughs> okay. Yeah, who put the pyramids together? He, they they let you know right here. Okay. Hey, Nate. Hey. If, if they can, if they can, <laughs> don't get me started. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> they came from outer space, but they are a part of the human race. If you know the place where they can be found, you may be the one who can wear the crown. Science 
with a PhD, not a lady in law, master's degree. Will I wear the crown unless they can see a unique reality? You see, when you say you wear the crown, then make sure you know it is profound. In case it sounds like a mystery, I'm a talking about our story. It can make Akhenaten nod to you, it can make Nefertiti thank in you. With the crown, you will begin to glow when it's secret. tell you like, like i'm trying to tell you, if you don't know your value if you, if you don't know where you where you came from you don't know where you're going like once you understand your value then you know your worth out here yeah we all kings and queens out here y'all yeah. kings and queens out here don't forget that you rolled up a nile in grace and style look at yourself today and think see the hieroglyphics up on the wall like the dancers on the floor they will not fall if you take one look it will astound and then you will see who wears the crown History lesson right now. Wow. <laughs> okay, the first to arrive was the Africa. Yeah. 
And, and if anybody kind of disputes this, disputes what they're saying or, or never never heard of it, I, hey, I challenge y'all to research it to take a look at it. I, I, I mean, I would just like to know. Like, yeah. I, would, I would like to read up on that. I'm about to look that up. Yeah. They said 2,000 years before Columbus sailed. Yeah. It may shock the house and shock we do. And if you're not prepared, it may shock you. While some had doubts that the world was round in America, guess who wore the crown? To smoke, to go, to dust, or speed With the crown you can become the high And you will make it if you try But don't you ever forget what it will take To wear the crown you cannot fake If you're gonna leave, you got to be a king And give the world your everything Or be a man like Malcolm X And a man for all the very best Or conduct a railroad like Harry and We all owe her a lifetime debt If you're gonna fight, don't do it free Make a pay to see just like Ali Or sing like Ella and make And Jackie Robinson, make Dr. J your shining star. Shoot like magic, don't with your bar. Or if you can write, then write some books like Langston Hughes or R. Miss Brooks. If you think you're smart, don't deceive us. Be an emotive, be a genius, and don't let anybody confuse the fact you don't wear the crown just because you're black. Everybody in the world has a crown in place that becomes their culture and their face. And so it is, we will not deny our history. from Gary Burry and the GB experience like at all I didn't man I promise you I like didn't. he sounds like the the hip hop the hippie to the hippie to the don't stop he, d- hop, he does the hippie to the yeah he does he kind of like resemble a, a little bit and I don't know that's if, not him I don't think that no uh, <laughs> his voice sounds so familiar to me I don't know I don't think so but he but you know this is like the 80s early 80s so they, they do have like that same kind of similar rap cadence but I have heard him before. You have heard so because his voice sounds familiar. I just like, can't though. think what it is though. Like yeah. for some reason, that's what popped in my head. Because this is the '80s, I'm sure he has other songs. Like if he wasn't, if it if it wasn't him that sung that particular part, like I feel like he was on that song. Okay. You know, in that. It's very possible. In the group, or he had a part of that song somewhere. Mm-hmm. I, I feel it for whatever reason. That's the song that popped in my head, but I could be wrong too. The GB I'm experience. We sure. might. I think we did. We might have heard something else from the GB experience. Uh, it's very, very, very possible. With yeah, would have been the '80s. Well, I would say Gary Bird. I'm not really sure. I don't know. I'm not really sure. His his voice definitely but, sounds. But, but I'm thinking the GB experience is Gary Bird. Okay. Okay. You know he just, he's just he plays. Oh, he's all over there. He, he all, all over the time. Whole name, a whole. <laughs> He said oh, the GB like experience. Name, yeah, y'all. like it's, it, this isn't just music; it's hey. an experience. I felt like this is what this was too. I felt like this was I'm an agreed. experience. Yeah, I felt like I was in like history class. Yeah, like like somebody sat me down in history class and said, "We about to have history today," and and hey, 
We just dove right into it. I like what he's talking about. I though. took something away from this. Yeah, I did too. Like even say like when uh, Stevie Wonder started his part, I like the fact that he talked about like when he was in school, like how you know they didn't talk about certain things. He would have to you know he yeah. was listening to stories from people at the train station. If you say the train station, his relatives even was giving him stories on like on history. You know, yeah. just I feel like it's interesting, especially you know he made reference to you know uh, the the Sphinx. Then he said. So, so is he making reference that, you know, the crown in general has something to do with going back to like, you know, cause in that, in that time period, there was like Kings and Queens and stuff like, you know, yeah. is that what he's referring to mm -hmm. in that, in that time frame throughout this song? Like yeah, and, that and we, I, I, I feel like what he's saying in the music is that somewhere lost, somewhere lost throughout history. We lost sense of self or who we really are. Uh. So he, so he's just bringing it back that you know, like, like, like we're no longer what you think that we are. Like, you know, you know, and, you know, and you know, just we're, we're big. We're more than what what we've been kind of like broken down to because we, you know, o over the decades, over the centuries, whatever, you know, just us as a people, it's like we've been broken down, whether oppressed by ourselves or whatever it is. Mm. But he, he just, he just saying we need to find our identity because our, because our identity once we find who we are and know our identity you'll I'm see too that value. we are kings and queens yeah and then once you understand your value then we can start walking around and addressing each other as kings King and, and queens, queens rather than addressing us in other ways that's, yeah that's more derogatory oh you this know was I mean? really good yeah. yeah the whole song though very just a, a just a lot of information a lot of I, you know, I, I'd like to go back and read up on some of the things that he talked about, though. Especially, yeah, I would too, because because I because I thought I thought I, I've never heard of El Kabu before. I've heard of Kemet. Yeah. K e m e t. Right. I've heard of Kemet, and you know, and you know, ancient Egypt. Right. You know, it's Kemet, but I've never heard of it being called El Kabu. So yeah, I'll definitely have to tap in and look that up. You know what I mean? Because at the end of the day, we are kings and queens, and we got to wear the crown. And in order to force the word of crown, we got to know where we came from so we know where we're going. There, you know? there you go. There you yeah. have it. This was good. Shout out to Mikey G for definitely, the suggestion definitely. as well. So if y'all enjoyed this video, be sure you give us a big thumbs up, like, comment, and subscribe. Smash that notification bell, join the family. And if ain't nobody else told you, we love you. And we're going to see y'all in the next video, y'all. Peace and love, y'all. Yeah, bye.